Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I've got some exciting news. Uh, development has really begun to kick off on the Droid Bionic for Jelly Bean and Ice Cream Sandwich on the Kegzag bootloader process thanks to Hashcode. He's the developer that put that together. Um, D Hacker is putting out some really good development on the Bionic. Uh, he hasn't given up on the Bionic yet. In fact, he's got CM10 booting on the Bionic. Now, of course, there's plenty of bugs. Uh, but it is booting via the Kegzag boot process, which means we're working around the bootloader and we can finally install custom kernels on our Bionic. So this means the world. Like We can do all kinds of stuff. Basically, we can put whatever we want on our Bionic thanks to the Kegzag boot process. Now, how do you get there? You have to use the SafeStrap 2.11 by Hashcode. So you'll head to the link in the description and grab that APK. Once you've installed that APK, simply uh, find it in your app drawer and you'll go to safe strap most of you guys that have followed my bionic videos you've already used safe strap so you kind of already know what's going on but what you're doing essentially is you're dual booting so you'll have like your main rom on the unsafe i'm sorry yeah on the unsafe system and then you'll have your custom rom on the safe system so we'll agree here and we'll install the recovery So as soon as this installs, we're going to boot into recovery, and I'll kind of walk through SafeStrap 2.11. This does have, like I said, Kegzec support, so we can get around the bootloader and do basically whatever we want. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll power down and power back up, and then we can get into the SafeStrap by pressing the menu button whenever the animation appears. So... Uh, first of all, you need to be on Ice Cream Sandwich, any of the leaks, and you do need to be rooted uh, before you do install that recovery. So, just so everybody knows. So, go ahead and boot back up. As soon as the safe strap screen pops up, we'll hit the menu button. It'll be there for 10 seconds, so you do have a, a, few, a few little seconds to get there. So, we'll go ahead and go to the recovery. And if you, like I said, if you've done this before, then you kind of already know what's going on. Okay, so here we are. The very first thing that you want to do is uh, make a backup. You'll have to have the backup in order to restore your old system. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, let me get in close so you guys can see, is you will scroll down to, oh, there we go. You scroll down to backup and restore, and you hit the power button to select, and then you're going to go to backup. You'll select that, do your backup. I'm not going to do that now because I want to show you guys the rest of it. We'll go back. Um, to get into your safe system, you'll toggle safe system. From the safe system, you can actually install your ROM. I'm not going to do that now, but very soon I'm going to have a CyanogenMod 10 install guide, and I'll do a little walkthrough of that. But this is very big news that we now have Kegzec on the Droid Bionic. It's coming to several other Motorola devices. It came to the Razer first, and I believe it's on the Droid 4 now as well. Uh, but that's very, very exciting news. Like I said, it helps us to work around the bootloader that is locked by Motorola. Um, hopefully, Motorola has stated that they're going to unlock future phones, and they're going to unlock some of the older phones. Probably not any of these that are on Verizon. My guess is even the new Motorola phones on Verizon will probably still remain locked. Uh, but we do have basically an unlocked bootloader on the Droid Bionic now, thanks to Hashcode and his work on SafeStrap 2.1.1. And uh, we do appreciate him for that. So, like I said, to install your ROM, you'll get a safe boot menu. You'll toggle safe system, and then from there, to be like another recovery, you'll be in your secondary system, and you can actually wipe data. Uh, I mean, you can actually flash ROMs from there. So, guys, thanks for watching. And you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the little subscribe button right there. I'm going to be doing lots more of this Bionic coverage because there's lots and lots and lots of development. Uh, Team Haters has tons of development for the Bionic. Uh, Insane Mod, he's got stuff for the Bionic. Like I said, D Hacker is still working on the Droid Bionic as well as several other developers. And there's even some new developers coming out for the Droid Bionic. So lots and lots of good stuff coming for this device. Be sure that you are subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you want to see continued coverage on this device. I'm going to go ahead and back up my system and start flashing. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.